for this recipe today, we are going to need one can of jackfruit, and it's a 400 ml can, it's about 14 ounces. And you wanna cut it up into smaller pieces. We're also going to need about a half cup of chopped onion, finely chopped onion, about three cloves of garlic minced, about a tablespoon of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of brown sugar, dark brown sugar, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of mustard, dry mustard powder, half a teaspoon or so of uh, ground pink salt. I'm going to use a few dashes of cayenne pepper just to add a little heat. And I am using about a quarter cup of my homemade ketchup. Uh, you can use regular ketchup or any store-bought barbecue sauce as well. So I started by heating about two teaspoons of oil uh, over medium heat. I'm using olive oil. You can use whatever oil you like. And I'm going to saute my onions and garlic. So I'm just going to saute them a little bit until those onions are translucent. Now that the onions are translucent, I'm going to add in the jackfruit and we're just going to cook the jackfruit for about one to two minutes. We want it to get tender. We want it to be eventually pulling apart as in cold pork. So we're just going to cook it here with the onions and garlic for a little bit. Like I say, about one to two minutes. So it's been cooking for about two minutes now, and you can see it's starting to break apart and get more tender. So I'm just going to add in all of the spices all at once. So I have mixed them all together, and I'm just going to mix it right in there and get the jackfruit coated with all those spices. I'll just cook it for a little bit longer. And then we'll add the ketchup in. So I have added the ketchup in there now. And I'm just going to bring it back up to a simmer. And then I'm going to turn it right down to low. Cover it and just let it cook for a little while until all of that jackfruit pulls apart. So it's been simmering for about 15 minutes and you can see it's all starting to shred and get very tender now and the sauce is thick. If it gets too thick for you, you can add in a little bit of water or vegetable broth um, and here we've got probably enough to do two pulled pork sandwiches. And there we have it. Two old jackfruit sandwiches. I have put them on toasted garlic butter buns.